Also in a powerful display of solidarity, prominent European diplomats gathered in Kyiv to convey their strong support for Ukraine amid Russia's invasion. This comes in the backdrop of the political discord regarding the war, particularly in Europe and the United States. Foreign ministers representing the 27 member countries of the European Union came together in the Ukrainian capital for an unplanned informal meeting. The purpose was to assess the bloc's backing for Ukraine and deliberate on Ukrainian President Zelensky's proposed peace initiative. EU's foreign policy chief Joseph Borrell emphasized that this historic meeting, the first joint session of the foreign ministers outside the EU borders, sent a clear message that the EU's support remains steadfast and reaffirming EU's unwavering commitment to Ukraine. Remember, the United States, the EU and the United Kingdom have been offering significant military and financial aid to Ukraine, bolstering its capacity to resist Russia's aggression. The foreign ministers of the European Union nations gathered in the Ukrainian capital of Kyiv to show their support to Ukraine as it's facing the Russian invasion since last 19 months. And this was an unannounced meeting by the foreign ministers of the European Union nations, the 27 nations who have been standing in solidarity with Ukraine since initially in the month of February 2022, Russia started invading Ukraine. And since then, the war has been going on. And not only uh, the European European Union uh, nations, but also United States and UK have also shown support, unwavering support to Ukraine. And in this particular meeting that happened in uh, the Kyiv, cap the capital of Ukraine, Kyiv, these foreign ministers discussed that how they will go about the support system in coming months as the invasion continues. And also they will be discussing Zelensky, the president of Ukraine's peace formula. So this was indeed a very important meeting that took place on Monday in Kyiv, where the foreign ministers of the European Union nations met their counterpart of Ukraine in their capital city. Well, with that, it's a wrap on this edition of the Bulletin. For more news and updates, stay tuned to Mirror Now.